Uh, for the third part of our radiology club today, Dr. Serbes will present an article from the American Journal of Radiology. May he proceed. Good morning. Sorry, my presentation is somewhat uh, long, although it is about half of the article. And I have taken a few slides from uh, a presentation from Dr. Nyan about three, four years ago. And uh, even I have taken some uh, pictures from net to become more understandable. So it's a collection. Yes, uh, my uh, presentation is about it's an article about the bone marrow signal alteration in the spine and sacrum. Uh, first uh, of all, we, we discuss about the normal distribution of hematopoietic bone marrow. There is uh, two topics. One of them is uh, conversion of red marrow to yellow marrow, which is a normal physiological process starting at birth. At the same, at the reverse of uh, changing red to yellow marrow is the re reconversion from yellow to, to red marrow, which is occur in, in some in some situation, uh, as we will discuss, uh, an infant, uh, about less than uh, one year, uh, about all the skeleton is uh, red marrow, except for uh, epiphysis and apophysis. With increasing age in childhood, conversion of red marrow to yellow marrow occur or uh, in an uh, unordered systematic way. It uh, first appears at the diaphysis, then uh, it, will, uh, it reaches the metaphysis, but uh, first time involving the distal metaphysis and uh, starting proximally until at the, uh, by the age of 25 year, the adult pattern of uh, marrow, which is yellow marrow, reach when uh, in the appendicular skeleton only the red marrow remain in the proximal uh, metaphysis. The process is like that. It appears in the distal phalanx and toes, uh, and uh, distally, and uh, extending proximally. When the hunt is finished, it starts at the diaphysis, then uh, distally and proximally, until, uh, involve the, until the distal metaphysis also changes to uh, yellow uh, to uh, yellow marrow or fatty marrow and eventually just the proximal humerus will remain to contain the hematopoietic or red marrow. In the lower limb the same occur in the diaphysis then distal uh, metaphysis and eventually red marrow will remain only in the proximal femur. It is like that at birth all are red marrow then distal skeleton become uh, yellow marrow and eventually just proximal f uh, femur and humerus remain. Beside the, the axial skeleton, all uh, are red marrow. So that's why we do a bone marrow biopsy from the iliac bone. Yes. Because it, con it continues to contain red marrow. Yes. Uh, the, the, as we said, uh, the adult pattern will become finished at 25 years. When there is a reconversion from yellow marrow to red marrow, which occur in some place, for example, in when there is uh, anemia and the body cannot uh, provide the body with uh, appropriate uh, blood, there is conversion from yellow marrow to red marrow. It starts in the reverse. It means, first, if, if you have reconversion in the humerus, it will start in the distal metaphysis. Then will come proximally to the diaphysis, unlike that. And in the femur, it starts first at the distal femur. We see some cases, huh? the MRI. We see red uh, reconversion of yellow marrow to red marrow in the distal femur. Uh, in general, uh, the signal characteristic of uh, red and fatty marrow is like that. The most important uh, sequence in MRI for the examination of uh, bone marrow is T1. T1 is very important. In the fatty marrow, we have T1, T2, and steer or T2 fast suppression. Same. Fatty marrow has high, high, high signal intensity in T1, intermediate in T2, 
and because it is predominant fat, it will suppress and become low. While red marrow is intermediate in all, intermediate in T1, T2, and because it is not too much fat, just remain the same. Trabicular bone, it is not important. Trabicular bone is all a framework of bone. It is low against a background of fatty and red marrow. This is simply, as we go more detail, fatty marrow is high like the subcutaneous fat. It should be more than muscle. Can be iso? Yes. Yes, can be iso. Fatty marrow can be iso with the muscle, but it should not be below the muscle at any time. And also, it should be more than disc. So, fatty marrow in T1 is high. It is like subcutaneous fat. We have example later on. Should be more than muscle or iso to muscle and normal disc. Again, red marrow should be, it is, it is true intermediate, but again should be more than muscle and disc. But if less than muscle, it's abnormal. Uh, fatty marrow is uh, intermediate, as we said in, on T2. Uh, it is less than subcutaneous fat, less than muscle, and less than normal disc. While red marrow, it is intermediate, but same as muscle and disc. But should not be less than muscle. Less than muscle. Uh, red marrow, lower than muscle or disc is abnormal. We say it, red marrow, this, should be more than muscle. It is normal when it is uh, less than muscle, e only in infancy. Only in infancy. We see this low signal in, uh, in this infant, maybe less than the muscle, it's normal. When become iso, and bec the, the signal of red marrow become iso with muscle by six months. Iso to this or? This is the muscle. This is the muscle, same. This is thir the 13 days uh, old uh, unit. We see this is almost iso. Here it is more than disc or less than disc. It is less than disc. Yes, this is normal. But if this is occur in adult, even red marrow, it is not normal. This uh, child is uh, eight month, and this child is 26 month. We see gradual increase in the conversion of red marrow to yellow marrow. When become yellow marrow or fatty marrow, it become increasingly more white or more hyper intense. This is uh, eight month and this is the 26th month. We see it is of uh, more signal intensity. Uh, the pattern of yellow marrow deposition, yani we have red marrow, we can change to fatty marrow. There are some pattern. This is called base vertebral, base vertebral. This is red marrow, will be replaced by fatty marrow gradually. This is in plate which is usually occur in uh, degenerative disease. This is mosaic or distinct. We see this uh, hyper intense foci are red marrow, uh, sorry, fatty marrow, replacing the red marrow. And the most common pattern is homogeneous, as we see in our cases and mostly become all hyper intense and become fatty. This is a 40 year old uh, person this, uh, without any complaint. We see it is all f fatty <coughs> marrow. We see this T1, it is a higher signal than muscle and uh, uh, uni uniformly suppressed on uh, proton density fat suppression. While in this patient, this is T1 and this is fatty marrow, should be, should be high signal. We see some patchy decrease in uh, signal intensity. When we do uh, fat suppression, the, f the, re the fatty marrow will suppress while the red marrow will not suppress because it contains much hematopoietic yeah. tissue. Hematopoietic tissue is like any other uh, cells, which not suppress too much. This, uh, another case, uh, has uh, knee pain. The patient uh, is a long-distance runner. One of the causes of 
reconversion to yellow marrow uh, to red marrow is long distance uh, running because there will be decrease in the oxygen level uh, we see this is uh, an area of red marrow it is lower than the fatty marrow but this is the oxygen demand not the physical demand yes increasing the demand on the place uh, high altitude exactly. yes uh, this is a red marrow reconversion in the yellow marrow, but still this red marrow is higher than muscle. What about this? This is low signal, but it's less than muscle, so this is abnormal. When we do fast suppression, the red yellow marrow will uh, suppress, red marrow not suppressed, and this highlighted, so this is edema. So any signal in T1, in T1 less than muscle is abnormal. What about this 70 year? Still, the person is in the stage of red marrow, except in the uh, epiphysis and apophysis. This is red marrow. Yes, l l lower than the fatty marrow, but again, more than muscle. Normal. This is normal. So, this Madame, on the T1, it's more than the muscle, it's normal. Normal. That's your basic. This is 23 year, 23, this is red marrow. We see it is low signal, but ag again, it is more than, still more than uh, this and more than muscle. So, if we say it, if on T1, red marrow is iso to muscle, it is normal. This patient is normal, red marrow, red marrow reconversion. What about this? 60. 66 year T1. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. Fatty. What about this? Abnormal. Abnormal. Why? It is less than this, the disc and less than the muscle. This is a case of myelofibrosis. Myelofibrosis, they are a replacement of the normal fatty marrow and uh, become fibrous and become low signal. This patient is uh, uh, ISO. No, it is a marrow reconversion. It is low signal on T1, but uh, still more than the disc. So this is a case of marrow reconversion from yellow to red marrow. This is uh, normal uh, T1 in fatty marrow. What about T1 fast separation? The benefit the benefit of t1 fat suppression it confirms the presence of fat within a mass when you do fat suppression if it is suppressed so this mass is containing fat and also increase the conspicuity of contrast enhancement after gadolinium administration this is a case of uh, plasma cytoma this is t1 this is t1 fat suppression this is t1 fat suppression but after contrast so it become highlighted when we suppress the fat. Uh, the steer and T2 fat suppression, T2 fat suppression are very sensitive for detecting fluid and also subtle bone marrow edema. This, uh, this is, uh, this denotes two uh, spondylitis, this is uh, T1, this is T2, T1, but we do when we do fast uh, the steer image, it will become highlighted. Again, this is a spondylodiscitis, the disc and the adjoining implant inflamed will increase in signal intensity. Uh, do we use T2 fat uh, separation, T2 fast spin echo without fast separation, and T2 alone without fast separation? is not useful and usually not used. Why? When you have a pathology, we know pathology usually malignant lesion low in T1, high in T2. So it is high in T2. And uh, uh, the T2 alone, fat on T2 is also high. So there is decreased contrast. This is a case of... Uh, so for evaluation of the bone marrow itself, T2 without fat suppression is not usually used. Usually used. Yes. This is a case of, uh, this are a case of metastasis. We see low signal on T1, but on T2, the vertebra is high, and the pathology is high, so it is missed. But when we do two T2 fast separation, yes, the uh, normal vertebra is suppressed, 
the abnormal vertebra will become highlighted. This is T1 fast separation. Again, the normal vertebra suppressed. This is uh, T1, the abnormal vertebra. And this is T1 fast separation with contrast. We see the pathology is highlighted. Uh, this is normal normal uh, bone marrow in various pulse sequence. This is uh, T1, T1 high signal. This is uh, T2. Uh, this is uh, steer image, and this is T1, uh, T1 fast separation with contrast. The benefit of diffusion weighted image in uh, imaging the bone marrow of the spine is important. One of them is in differentiating benign from malignant vertebral fracture. We have compression fracture. How we know this is benign from osteoporosis, or this is, or th there is metastasis, or there is a malignancy in the vertebral body. <coughs> this is a case <coughs> of uh, benign compression fracture. On diffusion weighted, there is no restriction, just edema from the uh, inflammation or from from the fracture. While in the case of uh, malignancy, we see that uh, uh, there is a restriction. This is the diffusion weighted, and this is the uh, T1. Type 1, T1, type 1, T2, T1. type 1, T2, so and diffusion restriction indicating malignancy. When uh, there is the restricted diffusion, it indicates malignancy. But this is uh, normal. Uh, we see there is uh, no 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 restricted diffusion. This is diffusion. And this is the T1. This uh, proved to be uh, infection, and after eight months, the the vertebra re regained to normal uh, consistency. Sometimes when we have modic type one and infection, uh, we can get benefit from diffusion. This is called close sign. We know that modic type 1 is low in T1. And uh, spondylodiscitis also low in T1, both of them. Although theoretically we say when, when the disc is low signal, it is degenerative. But again, on T2. But again on T1, infection, this disc is low signal. But when we do the, when we do res, uh, diffusion imaging, when we see this sign adjacent to the disc, this restricted diffusion, this indicate modic type one. While in the case of spondylodiscitis, when there is infection, there is no re restriction. Uh, and also to differentiate between benign and malignant uh, lesion, this is a case of. Uh, lymphoma, uh, sorry, this is a case of TB. Uh, this is low signal in T1 and T2. This is low signal in T1. This is ADC, ADC map. It is high signal, so it is diffusion weighted is low signal. So uh, this is benign. Another sequence is chemical shift or opposite phase MRI. The importance of chemical shift is to distinguish new plastic from non new plastic. New plastic, we mean infiltrated bone marrow. Non new plastic, we mean red bone marrow. How we differentiate from, for example, myelofibrosis, which is low on T1, and uh, uh, marrow reconversion, which is also, for example, intermediate in T1. When there is benign lesion, benign lesion coexists with normal fat containing marrow. Any benign lesion doesn't destroy the normal fat present. So show signal drop out on out of face because there is still fat. While in the neoplasm, it destroy and replace normal fat and hematopoietic element. And there is only the abnormal cell. So maintain their signal and do not show signal drop out on opposite face. For example, in this case, this is a case of, uh, this is intermediate signal. The first image is intermediate signal on T1. So this is maybe marrow reconversion. Maybe marrow reconversion. But still it is more than the disc, more than the uh, muscle. This is in phase, and this is out of phase. Well, out of phase, we see it is all lost. So there is fat here. Still there is fat. Yes. 
And you just imagine that when you say red marrow, red marrow doesn't mean there is no fat. There is fat, but less than the fatty marrow. This is a case of uh, a case of leukemia. When there is leukemia, we see this is low, low, but it is low lower than muscle and lower than the disc. So we suspect that this is abnormal, not marrow reconversion. How we prove? This is in phase and this is out of phase. In the out of phase, we see that there is no drop out of the signal. Or in the case of uh, focal pathology, this is a case of multiple myeloma. This is multiple myeloma, in phase and out phase. We see that the normal, bar normal marrow will uh, suppress while on the out of uh, uh, any out phase uh, chemical shift, the multiple the myeloma will, will not, suppress. not suppress. What about this? This is modic. Why modic not suppressed while it is fat? Why Victoria Media? It's macroscopic. It's macroscopic. Chemical shift is to suppress the microscopic. So modic will not suppress on... Uh, what about the normal marrow? This is normal. T1. This is in phase, it's out of phase. Why, why it is not suppressed like, like, uh, like red marrow, for example? This is red marrow. Let us go on the same image. This is normal fatty marrow, suppressed mildly. This is red marrow, suppressed markedly. Microscope. In the, in, the, in the fatty marrow, there is too much fat. You use fat saturation to suppress microscopic fat. Yes. You use chemical shift to suppress uh, microscopic fat. Yes. So this is myelofibrosis, not suppressed. This is normal marrow, and this is red marrow. Another import, uh, importance of uh, chemical shift is also for local, local, focal lesion, as we say. This is metastasis from carcinoid. This is uh, T2. Uh, this is uh, in phase, and this is out of phase. The normal marrow suppressed, while the tumor is highlighted and not suppressed. OK, let us read. Finish the next time, it's somewhat long. Okay. It's important. It's just nor normal.